Now in this first part then we have to solve 5 to the power x equals 7 and find x quoting the result to three significant figures. So when you have equations where the unknown is a power what you need to do is take logs to both sides and it doesn't matter what base you do but the most common base that you would find on a calculator is base 10 and that is just written as LOG. LOG, log in base 10 in other words of the left hand side equals the log in base 10 of the other side, the 7. You don't have to write 10, okay, if you want to, that's up to you, but LOG is adequate. Okay, we have that statement there. Then by the power rule of logs, that is that if you have something to the power, you can bring the power out the front. So that becomes x log 5 equals log 7. And then all you need to do next to get x is divide both sides by the log of 5. So x would equal log 7 divided by log 5. Don't make any common mistakes like cancelling out the logs. You can't do that, okay? So it's just log 7 divided by log 5. Just need to get on the calculator and work that out. All right, so if you do that, you'll find that you get x equals 1.20906 and so on. And remember, we were asked to give this to three significant figures, and so therefore x would equal 1.21 to 3 significant figures, 3SF for short. What you could do is just try and experiment, by the way, just with different logs. You'll see that you should get the same answer here. I mean, you could do this by using, for instance, natural logs. And if you took the same equation, you could do the natural log of 5 to the power x, that's logs in base e, equals the natural log of 7. And again, you'd use the power rule and get x natural log 5 equals the natural log of 7. Divide both sides by the natural log of 5 and x would equal natural log of 7 over the natural log of 5. And when you work that out, you'll get exactly the same answer, 1.20906 and so on, which when rounded to three significant figures is going to be 1.21 to 3SF. Alright, so there's two very common bases that you could use to do this particular problem. And that brings us anyway to the end of part A.